a very good morning to class 8 student class 8 student now we are in the third chapter more about ms access 2010 so now the next topic is creating a query query all of you know the meaning of the query is what query means questioning whenever we are going to ask a question is called a query so in computer language query is a request means you are requesting something for the data from the database the action on data or for both you can use a query to answer the simple questions to perform calculations to combine data and from the different tables or everyone to add change and delete tables table data queries that you have used to in retrieve data from the table whenever you are going to retrieve a data from a table is called a query means retrieve whenever you are getting the data from a table is called a query any type of uh, information uh, which you are getting from a table is called query or even to add change or delete a table data queries that you can use the entire data from a table to make calculations are called select queries queries uh, are to add change or delete data are called action queries they are called action queries whenever we are going to add data or change a data or delete a data is called action queries we can create a query to see the marks greater than 80 in the subject science or just see the names and address of all the student queries help us to view the data and up from the multiple tables too means if whenever we are going to find out a data from a table a multiple data in a tables is there so query is going to help help us out to find the data right the teaching might want to want to see the name of the student who received who have scored less than 40 marks for this he or she will need data from two tables name or student and maths or marks so a sign table query is actually just an advanced file applied to a table so through this method we can find it out through creating a query we can find out the name of the students who are getting less than 80 less than 40 40 marks or more than 40 marks right so that's why query is very important for us the dialog box shown in a table select the table from the show table dialog box on which you would like to run or query click on the add button let us display the data from showing marks of 80 in the subject science as this data is in table mark so this one is the process a type of process through which we can find out the data of the students whosoever we want to find it out so this one is a type of a method so not uh, go in the go in the deep of the same method let us uh, talk about some common definitions some definitions write field what are field it display the name of the field including in the queries fields are those things which denote a group of common names table table is what it display the name of table of the above field short means what does it mean short we are going to short the data also i believe i already explained you the same thing in a previous video also if you have seen my that video you know that what does it mean short means it is used to short the above selected field in ascending or descending order by default query result are not sorted right show what does it mean show a check mark is used to indicate that this field will be visible in the result of the query to hide the field during runtime deselect the check mark by clicking it if you want to deselect what you have to do you have to deselect the check mark criteria all of you know the uh, all of you know very well that the meaning of criteria criteria it is a used used to specific exactly the condition of the basic of which the result order will be filtered in the query output and the last one or it is used to specific multiply criteria multiple criteria 
so these are some fields which uh, which is going to describe you so no need to write it down in your copies because these are the common fields and you also know that these fields explanation but you can't be able to exp some of you uh, may be explained but some of you don't know how to explain it but you know the work of that particular field right field table why we are using the field why we are using the table because through a table we are going to compare one data to another why we are going to short a data because through shorting uh, we can arrange the data in ascending or descending order right so these are some criterias right M now moving forward to the next point specify specifying a simple criteria our query is our query was to display the list of the student which more than 80 marks of the science selected the field role number and science uh, what we can do is check boxes below how we can do that this one is the specific simple criteria before we are going to do we have to select in a criteria right the criteria is related to that that the criteria of sciences type is equal to uh, lesser greater than 80 greater than 80 means whosoever is getting greater than 80 marks they can visible in the in the table otherwise they are not be visible so this type of criteria means specify simple criteria whenever we are going to make a condition on the given field that one is the criteria saving a query why we are going to save a query click on file save the given dialog box appear we can change the query name or go ahead with the same click on ok it is now database objects are listed in the navigation pen the query does not physically shorted by data it is just a view of the data if data is changed in the original table it is reflected when the query is run again is specifying a multiple criteria multiple criteria means multiple criteria can be applied to a query in a various ways criteria from more than one field whenever we are going to make a criteria in more than one fields criteria whenever we are making a condition a type of condition making a type of condition is called a criteria let us display the data of the student who are obtained less than 60 in english more than 16 maths so we need a result which fulfill the criteria from both the fields creating a new query select the table marks in the design grid selected the field roll numbers english science maths click each subject show in the criteria english field like this we can uh, fix the criteria so these are the functions of the criteria and after that what we have to do we have to run the query and the result as display whenever we are going to run it it automatically display the result then forms what are forms a form is a is a type of database a form is a type of database object that you can use to create a user interface from a database application a form is a database object that you can use to create a user interface for a database application it provides an easy and user friendly way to enter edit and view data a form is a type of a database object that you can use to create a user interface for a database application it provides an easy and user friendly way to enter edit and view data all of you have all of you some of you have sometimes fill a form at school right so all of you know the meaning of the form सबको पता होगा फॉर्म का मतलब क्या होता है क्यों क्योंकि तुम आप में से कई लोग ऐसे होंगे जिन लोगों ने फॉर्म भरा होगा वट डज इट मीन्स फॉर्म इज अ डेटा बेस फॉर्म एक तरह का डेटा बेस होता है दैट यू कैन यूज टू क्रिएट अ यूजर इंटरफेस जो कि यूजर के इंटरफेस के लिए होता है मीन्स अगर आपको शामिल होना है तो आपको भरना पड़ेगा फॉर ए डेटा बेस एप्लीकेशन एक डेटा बेस की एप्लीकेशन के लिए आपको क्राइटेरिया जरूर करना है जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपको वोट देना है तो उसके लिए आपका एक क्राइटेरिया होता है कि आपको 18 ईयर्स का होना चाहिए 
साथ ही साथ में आपके पास वोटर आई कार्ड होना चाहिए सो दीज आर द क्राइटेरियाज अगर आप केवल हिंदुस्तानी हैं केवल इंडियन हैं इसलिए आप वोट नहीं दे सकते आपके पास वोटर आई कार्ड भी होना चाहिए योर नेम इज़ ऑल्सो लिस्टेड इन अ वोटर लिस्ट ऑल्सो सो दीज आर द क्राइटेरियाज यू हैव टू फुलफिल दीज क्राइटेरिया सो सेम इन अ सेम मैथड इन अ सेम मैथड फॉर्म्स अ फॉर्म इज अ डेटा बेस ऑब्जेक्ट दैट यू कैन यूज टू क्रिएट अ यूजर इंटरफेस फॉर अ डेटा बेस एप्लीकेशन इट प्रोवाइड्स एन ईजी एंड यूजर फ्रेंडली वे टू एंटर एडिट एंड व्यू अ डेटा यू कैन व्यू अ डेटा फ्रॉम दैट साइड ऑल्सो देर आर वेरियस वे ऑफ क्रिएटिंग अ फॉर्म देर आर वेरियस वेज टू क्रिएटिंग अ फॉर्म लेटस द फॉर्म आइकन्स फ्रॉम द फॉर्म ग्रुप अंडर द create tab in the ribbon so these things you can find it out in a computer whenever you come to school will uh will go through the practical and here you can see there are so many type of forms are there click on the table and the navigation pen on which you want to create a form then click on the icons form as show above in your database class let us create in a form on the table student select the table student in the navigation plan click on the form icon to create a table these are the steps to follow how to create a form right so these are the steps if you want to edit or enter the data in the form click on the home tab view button form view in the form in the form only one record is displaying form mein jab bhi enter karte hain hamesha ek record hota hai aur आप फॉर्म में ये भी कंडीशंस होते हैं यू का आपको कोई भी फील्ड एम्प्टी नहीं छोड़नी है अगर किसी फील्ड को एम्प्टी छोड़ते हो तो फॉर्म में आगे वो बढ़ता नहीं है या फॉर्म में कोई एरर आ जाता है है ना वी कैन मूव द नेक्स्ट रिकॉर्ड यूजिंग द रिकॉर्ड नेविगेशन अ विजुअली अट्रैक्टिव फॉर्म्स मेक्स वर्किंग विद अ डेटा बेस मोर प्लीजेंट एंड मोर एफिशियंट एंड इट कैन ऑल्सो हेल्प प्रिवेंट इनकरेक्ट डेटा फ्रॉम बींग एंटर्ड और ऐसी भी कंडीशंस होती हैं जिसमें कि आप इनकरेक्ट डेटा भर दो तो उसमें कंडीशंस लगे होती हैं फॉर एग्जांपल नंबर द नेम ऑफ द पर्सन इज रिटर्न अल्फाबेटिकली ओनली किसी भी पर्सन का नेम नंबर्स में नहीं हो सकता तो उसमें कंडीशन होती है यू कॉन्ट बी एबल टू राइट द नंबर्स इन अ नेम कॉलम आप नेम कॉलम में नंबर्स नहीं लिख सकते येस सो दिस मे इज द कंडीशन इफ यू आर गोइंग टू राइट डाउन द नंबर्स इन अ नेम कॉलम वट एड एपन ऑटोमेटिकली गेट एर मैसेज ऑन द computer screen you get a uh, error message on the computer screen that this one is a wrong wrong entry like this so these are the conditions which are already already available in a forms so a visual attractive form makes a working on the database more pleasant and more efficient and it can also help prevent incorrect data from being entered when a form is created three new tabs are On the ribbon appears. Three tabs are there. So these tabs are design tab, arrange tab, format tab. These are the form layout tool that provide with additional features with the help of efficient working of a form. Formatting a form. Formatting means whenever we are going to do some changes on a form is called formatting. Formatting means whenever we are going to do some uh, changes. जब हम कुछ चेंजेस करते हैं लाइक वी आर गोइंग टू डिज़ाइन द फॉर्म वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ लोगो ऑफ इन अ फॉर्म सो इस टाइप की वी कैन फॉर्मेट आर यूजिंग अ डिज़ाइन ऑफ फॉर्मेट टैब अवेलेबल इन अ फॉर्म लेआउट वी कैन ऐड लोगो जब हम उसमें लोगो लगाएं और टाइटल बाय यूजिंग लोगो एंड टाइटल ऑप्शन अवेलेबल इन अडर और फोटर ग्रुप ऑफ द डिज़ाइन टैब सो दीज आर दीज ऑल थिंग्स आर अवेलेबल इन अ फॉर्मेटिंग अ फॉर्म whenever we are going to change a format format means whenever we are going to do some changes on a form is called format formatting to format the font size we are going to change the uh, font size color and alignment of label adding a background image changing and color of the shapes etc we are using the various options available in the format tab we are going to use that you find it out these things whenever you are going to fill a form through the net reports what does it means all of you know the meaning of reports reports means whenever you have done any work after completing a work what had happened you have sent that work to someone else after sending uh, the report to someone else what had happened after a few time back 
few after a few time you get a report from that side report means you get a result of your work so that one is called also be a report report are used to present the reports are used to present data is a specific layout for printing purpose data can be analyzed analyze means you are going to calculate the things organized and summarized and presented in an effective way whenever you are going to present the things in effective way effective way means whenever it's going to be applied somewhere else title title date and time page number image charts etc can be in, can be inserted in a report right to create a report select the table and form the navigation pane on whom the report is to be created then on the create tab in the ribbon in the report group click on report let us create a report on the table student select table student from the navigation pane what we how we can do that first of all what we have to do select the table student from the navigation pane on the create tab in the ribbon in the report group click on report all the records are displaying in the tabular format automatically it goes to a tabular format with the appropriate title date and time and page number and shown automatically it gonna happen because the system has been designed by the software engineers when a report is created for new tabs on the report appears design arrange format page setup these help us to apply different filters to view specific data arrange data in a specific manner and also apply various fonts and sizes so these are the things through which we can maintain a data in a table of format formatting a report how can we format a report how can we modify a report so regarding that concern we'll talk about we can format a report using there are three options design and format tab available on the report layout tool how we can do that like this we can add logo on report we can add logo or title options available on the header and footer group in the designing tab the second point the format of the font of labels adding a background image etc we use the various options available in a format tab so these are the options through which we can format a report now moving forward now moving forward to the next topic printing a report we already modified the report now we are going to print a report how to print a report all of you know that the shortcut key of printing a report is control p but before that we have to know the process of the book also to print a report do as follows select the file tab click on the print option or select the print preview print preview means before printing a document you have to see that how my document look like when i get a print out from the printer so print preview allow us to choose the page orientation page setup etc modify the page size width length etc if required click the print option click okay in the printer dialog box automatically what had happen your your uh, that page get printed so this that's all about this class now your chapter has been finished so student what you need to do is you have to write down the definitions uh, these definitions in your class book copies the definitions are relationship and you have to make this diagram also relationship what does it mean it is a logical it is a logical connection between two tables that specify fields that our table have in common relationship means it is a logical connection between two tables that specifies fields that the table have in common and the second one is query it helps to retrieve data from the database then the third criteria this is the condition of the this is the condition of the ba basis of which the record will be filtered 
form it helps to enter and display data in a user friendly format report report means it display data is an easy to read format which can be used for printing so these are the definition which you need to note it down in your copies and memorize it also because maybe uh, these definitions comes in your examination so it's very important to learn all the definitions whatever the definitions you are going to write it down in your copies so student this one is all about today's class uh, now let's uh, revise some important points once again we'll go for uh, report before reports i tell you one thing what is formatting a form formatting a form means i already describe you in this video in the same video what does it means formatting a form formatting a form means we can format a form using a uh, design and format tab available on a form layout tool we can add logo and title by using logo and title option available in the header and footer option in a design tab in design tab both the options are available through which we can design the forms the format the format and font like size color and alignment of labels adding a background image changing the color of the shapes etc we use the various options available in the format tab and let us talk about what is report what is reports reports all of you know the basic meaning of report means whenever you are going to do any work after that you get a result is called a report of that particular work so in a computer language what does it means reports means reports are used reports are used to present data in a specific layout reports are used to present data in a specific layout for printing purpose data can be analyzed analyze means when we are going to calculate anything is called analyze organized organized because they are looking at in a proper proper and maintained and summarized summarized means means easily uh, easy to understand and presented in a effective way and present in a effective way effective way means when whenever you are going to take a look on that it uh, it look like that you can understand easily title date and time page number images charts etc can be inserted in the report it's very necessary to insert these things in a report because these reports tells us so many things which we can't understand which we can understand without reading a report if we if we find out the title date and time page number images charts etc then we can we can easily understand a report as soon as possible to create a report select the table from the navigation pane on whom the report is to be created then on the create table create tab in the ribbon in the report group click on report so what we have to do we have to click on the report option then let us create a report on a table student how we can create a report on a table student uh, select the table student from the navigation pane then on the create tab in the ribbon in the report group click on the report all the re records are displaying in the table of format with an appropriate title date and time and page number is shown when the report is created for few tabs on the ribbon appear design arrange format page setup these help us to apply different filters to view a specific data arrange data in a precious manner and also apply various font and sizes so through these we can checked out the reports also through these things we can modify the report as well reports are nothing